Hi, I'm Cindy Levinsky and I will be making guamki and meatloaf today, two family recipes that my mother taught me. First we have to boil water for the cabbage. Depending on the cabbage size, you will have to adjust the water level in your pot. Okay, this is seven pounds of brown round. I'm going to add that to my big mixing bowl. Smash it into the bowl. Now we can begin with our garlic. Now we begin the garlic. Need to chop off the bottom end. And try to break off the cloves. Okay, now I have a garlic peeler. You stick one clove into the rubber, rubber sleeve, roll it, and the skin comes right off of the your clove of garlic into the base of the chopper and then begin to chop. Now we will dump the garlic from the chopper into the meat. Okay, now we will begin to put our onion powder, one tablespoon of onion powder and one tablespoon of paprika also. Now we will add a half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, now goes the rice into the mixture. Okay, now we need to add two cans of tomato soup into a container. We will add the tomato juice to the tomato soup. Now we will add about a cup of the tomato mixture to the meat. Okay, now you have everything into the meat. You want to take your hand and work all the ingredients together, mixing it very well. As you mix it, you may find that you need to add a little bit more of the tomato juice. You want it a little soppy so they become very moist inside. Now we will take out the leaves that fell off the cabbage head and we are going to drain them and lay them onto a plate. Hold the two ends forward, take the sides, hold them in. I have pre-cooked bacon cut up into pieces and layer your guampi into the oyster. And you can overlap them. Now we will make the meatloaf. Now for the meatloaf, we will add the ground round. You will have to do two batches because there's more onion than there is for the garlic.
will be a quarter cup of breadcrumbs, a half a cup of cheese, a third cup of ketchup, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of mustard, so a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and pepper. Quarter cup of bacon base. Now we will form it into the loaf and after an hour take out the meatloaf out of the oven and add cheese on top and put back in the oven just until it's melted. I hope you get a chance to make these recipes for yourself and enjoy.